we're told the sum of six hundred thousands, ninety thousands, and two tens can be expressed as which number? Why don't you pause this video, have a go at this before we do this together? All right. Now, the way I'm going to approach it is I'm going to think about what each of these parts of the number, how I can write them down just as a number, and then I'm going to add them up. So if I wanted to write six hundred thousands, how would I write that? Well, it would be six, and let's see, this would be sixty or six tens. This would be six hundreds. This would be six thousands. This would be sixty thousands. This would be six hundred thousands. So six hundred thousands is this right there. And next, we have ninety thousands. Well, I can do that same exercise. I'm going to add it together. So this is going to be plus, actually, let me just write it here first. So ninety thousands is, that's ninety. This would be nine hundred. That would be nine thousand. That would be 90,000. Another way to think about it, I have a nine in the 10,000s place. So I have nine ten thousands, which I guess is the same thing as 90,000s. So it's going to be the six hundred thousands plus 90,000. And actually now let me, I'm going to set this up so I can add them together. So I have the place values lined up. And then I'm going to add to that two tens. Well, this is just two. And if I put one more zero here, that's two tens, or also known as 20. And how do I know? Or another way to think about this, I have the two in the tens place. So that's two tens. So that is going to be two tens right over there. Another way you could think about everything we're doing here is this first column, that's your ones place. That second column, let me do this in a darker color, that's your tens place. Your third column is your hundreds place. This fourth column is your thousands place. This is your ten thousands place. And then this one is hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands. So it's six hundred thousands and nine ten thousands, which is the same thing as ninety thousands. And then we have two tens. But let's all, let's add it all up. And I am going to get. Actually, I could stay, keep those place values there. I have no ones here, so I still have zero ones. I only have two tens amongst all of these numbers, so it's still two tens. I have no hundreds, so zero hundreds. No thousands, zero thousands. I have nine ten thousands here, so I'll put a nine right over there. And I have six hundred thousands. So what I'm left with is this number right over here, and if we look at the choices, that's exact, exactly choice C.